Queen Elizabeth II left the world with some teachings for King Charles, Her Majesty, who always started her day with a red box of things to be dealt with, left something special for her son and then, Prince of Wales, contents of which will never be known, royal expert Robert Hardman and author of, Charles III, New King. New Court. The inside story, tells GB News, the thing that absolutely put the hairs on the back of my neck was when I heard about it was her last red box. She'd had a red box brought to her every single day of her life as queen. She was only ever allowed two days off, her birthday and Christmas day. Other than that her red box, every day, was full of papers and stuff to be dealt with. And right at the end, you know, they opened up her last red box, it's there in her room after she's died and there's a letter to the Prince of Wales. We'll probably never know what was in it. He continued, that's why she was so keen to be on her feet and looking the part in that first photo shoot with that final photograph because you know, all summer there hadn't really been a government to speak of. Her absolutely number one duty as a constitutional monarch is to ensure the good governance of the country. And so she wanted to appoint Liz Truss, and get that done. And she was very buoyed up having done that was a weight off her mind.